it's 2019, although actually it's quite early in 2019, which makes it a bit difficult to talk about 2019 as a whole. It's 2018. This is the president. This is the most common Google search. This is the top grossing movie. And the subject on everyone's mind is how everybody who knows about the climate says we have 12 years to get our act together before the planet starts killing us. Although many people seem more concerned with this woman, who told everybody about the president's pee? And this is the best-selling car in the world. But many people have discovered a new kind of car, one that is far cheaper to run, better to drive, and they may make the planet want to kill us less. They're called EVs, or electric vehicles. About 10% of all cars sold in America this year are EVs, and people who brought them had plenty of choices. You had one of these, or this, or one of these, or even one of these, and plenty of other options. And if they go to an auto show, they will see all the exciting new EVs that they can buy very soon. Like this one, or that one, or even one of these. And there are clever apps that show people with EVs where they can charge them up. So you could have an EV in Los Angeles, or New York, or Idaho, or Phoenix, or even the Ukraine. EV drivers in Azerbaijan, however, still have to charge at home. And it's all thanks to this man, who invented the electric vehicle way back in 2012 and made everybody want to buy one. It's 1999. This is the president. This is the most popular website. This is the top grossing movie. And the subject on everybody's mind is how everybody who knows about human anatomy and health say that cigarettes aren't very good for you. Although many people seem more concerned with this woman, who was invited by the president to have a go on his day, and this is the best-selling car in the US. But some people have started driving these brand new kind of cars called EVs, because California thinks we might have a small problem with the climate. And now, I'll be on my way. Not so fast, Sunbeam. We're greenhouse gases. You ain't going nowhere. Pretty soon, Earth is chock full of sunbeams. They're rotting corpses, heating our atmosphere. They said that the major automobile companies should try to get people to drive these newfangled EVs. Even though it clearly won't be a problem for another 30 years or so. People who decided to drive these cars have many exciting options, like this one. Or, um, well, in, in the US it was mostly just that one. And it could only be leased, not not bought. People who drive these cars mostly just charge them at home using cheap, reliable electricity that is provided in the state of California. However, GM is about to realize that EVs require hardly any maintenance. So if everyone drove EVs, their dealerships wouldn't be able to make any more money. Coupling this with other sound and ethical reasons, GM decided to take back all its EVs and destroy them. Solving the problem once and for all. But once and for all! It's 1904. This is the president. This is the most popular Google search. This is one of the most popular movies. And the subject on everyone's mind is these brothers who just built this strange machine that can fly. Although many people seemed more concerned with this woman, who is quite free-willed even though she is the president's daughter. In fact, she's so free-willed and wild, she might have even seen a job. Many rich people are very happy with this brand new toy that they can buy. They're called automobiles. Many of them are quite loud and break a lot because they rely on something called an internal combustion engine, which runs on small explosions that happen internally. They also require a crank to start, which come with their own issues. You have to use the starting handle. And the great thing about this particular car, the Didion Bouton, uh, is that when you turn the handle, it will break your wrist. You what? However, some people prefer a different type of automobile that runs on something called electricity. Automobiles like this one, built by a company called Baker Motor Vehicles, are much quieter and more reliable than other automobiles. Because of this, people decided that these more refined automobiles must be driven by women. 
because women can't deal with the complexity of internal combustion engines. Except for literally the first person to drive an internal combustion engine somewhere who happened to be a woman. Rich women could drive their EVs into town and charge them while they shopped at these not at all scary looking charges. Although one person called Henry Ford is not a woman, so he likes to build cars that use internal combustion engines. If his ideas happen to catch on, the internal combustion engine could easily become the default for automobiles. Unfortunately, with Thomas Edison's fetish for electrocuting elephants to death, people are starting to become a little apprehensive about electricity. Because of these reasons, people will soon stop buying cars like the Baker Motor Vehicle, and these automobiles powered by electricity will soon disappear and never be used again. I'm gonna make